I was going to take this to to be professionally looked at, but for one reason or other, I've decided to do it myself. Um, just I did take it to the shop, and they just didn't fill me with much confidence, to be honest. So I'm going to tackle it. Right, I know I did say I wasn't going to do a video, and this isn't a video, I'm just showing you what, what it is. Look at the state of it, it's absolutely hideous. <clears throat> so I'm not surprised it's not working, it's completely filthy, and there's all bits of brushes and all sorts in here. Um, anyway, I'm not going to take it apart anymore. Um, the actual solenoid plunger assembly looks, feels really quite good, so I don't think there's anything wrong, I don't think there's any point in me dismantling that. I'm just going to clean it all with degreaser and contact cleaner and whatnot and put it all back together. Right, that's as much as I'm going to do. Cleaned it up as much as I can. All the uh, contact areas now are really clean. Degreased it all, got all that muck out. Uh, did take the, the solenoid plunger out. That's the only bit I haven't taken apart, which I'm just going to not worry about. I don't want to get... I don't want it to drop to, to bits. I've not taken that bit apart, but other than that, everything is clean. Should be good to go. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, I've rigged up a proper little thing, and this is this is so I can just stand out of the way in just around the corner, just in case I've done something stupidly wrong. So here we go. This is the first time to test it. Well, it's working. <laughs> I say I call that success. I don't know whether it sounds any different, to be honest. Now, this battery's not very good, but we'll have to, I'll have to put it back on now and, and try it.